Moving averages. Let's talk about the best way to use them. We're getting into it right now. So moving averages are one of the most commonly used tools for traders out there. Now there's a lot of controversy. Some people say they're useless. Some people say they're great. Some people use the crossovers. Some people use them as uh, all sorts of different ways to use moving averages. But today I want to talk about the two main ways that I personally like to use moving averages. And I like to keep things relatively simple in my trading. So let's go ahead and talk about moving averages. What you can see here is I've got USD and JPY pulled up here on the chart, looking at the four hour time frame, And I've go gone ahead and loaded up a 100 period moving average. You can see it's the red line here, the beautiful little uh, streak across the screen. Now, what we're going to talk about when talking about a moving average, in my opinion, there's two great ways to go ahead and use these things. Number one is to use them in context with some sort of trend. So you can see that the moving average here is pointing to the upside, right? What that usually is going to indicate is that the market's general direction is moving to the upside. Now, sure, it's a lagging indicator in the sense that it uses previous data to determine which way the trend is, but a lot of times you get some sort sort of continuation from momentum in markets, right? So you have the market moving up, we're using that, that moving average as a potential trend indicator to identify that the market is moving a certain direction. And here's one way that I love to use moving averages, right? So we've seen prices continuously pushing up, right? And we're getting some sort of retracement. Well, this, this moving average level is a level of value for potential buyers. And let me show you why. Again, we've mentioned that we see price moving higher and we pull back to right around this level of structure here on this moving average. And what you can see is that the moving average is actually a dynamic support level in the sense that when price pulls back to this level, this is a level kind of confirming or testing to see if the trend will continue. And what we can see is that price rallied, it pulled back, and we found support and continued to push upwards off of this level. So this point right here, this this uh, along the moving average is going to be a potential opportunity for people to get in long, to get in and join the trend on a pullback. And the moving average is a great opportunity to kind of buy into a trend off of a pullback. You can see that again and again in markets. So again, if I continue on here just a little bit, you can see that again, we had an opportunity right around here when the market pulled back to the moving average again. You can see we're in a sharp movement to the upside, multiple hundreds of pips here, moving to the upside. And sure enough, when we pulled back to that moving average, you can see we got a beautiful little, let's zoom in just a little bit here. You can see we got a beautiful little pin bar reversal there on top of the fact that the moving average was there. Again, guys, what I mention often in my videos and any of my strategy videos is that combining multiple things, combining, combining things to give you that confluence of multiple factors factors to give you a good edge in the market is always something you want to do in terms of price action trading. So we had multiple things here, right? We had a support structure here where we saw buyers step in here and push price higher, pulled back to this level combined with that 200 moving average combined with that pin bar. And that was a beautiful trade setup. And you can see it worked out very nicely to the long side. Now, again, we could probably move on. You can see there's another opportunity where buyers stepped in and, and bought up this market. Um, you can see a nice bullish engulfing candle off of that structural uh, level there. Now, again, moving averages are not going to work all the time. You can see here's an example where price continued to rally. It rallied again. We got one more jump there. And sure enough, price broke down and broke through that level and failed to continue. Not every trend is going to continue forever, obviously, guys. And there are opportunities to use moving averages in the context of trend in the in the sense that, OK, we have a pullback to a major structural level of value, a.k.a. our moving average, right? And that level potentially holds as buyers continue to push price up. Same thing in a downtrend. If you have movements to the downside, that moving average moving across the top may act as a nice dynamic resistance in that case, right? Levels where sellers could step in and sell off that market to potentially push price lower and to continue the overall trend downwards. Now I want to talk about the second main way that I like to use moving averages. And this is the concept of mean reversion or stretched pricing. What usually happens in a market when price goes too far from a moving average is we some see some sort of stretch. It's almost like a rubber band, right? So with the, the stronger you pull on a rubber band, the stronger the pull towards the center gets, and eventually it pops back to the center, right? So with rubber bands, right, it's kind of a stretched and, you know, retracement, uh, you know, kind of opportunity. And the same thing happens in markets. A lot of times this moving average is kind of like the rubber band, right? When price gets stretched too far from that moving average, you can see right here, we got an opportunity where price was getting very, very stretched to the long side. And there's some actual counter trend opportunities if you know what you're doing and you have a good strategy and you stick to your plan, right? All of that good stuff as well as risk management. When price gets stretched like this often enough in the market, you'll see price continue to want to come back to test that structure. We just talked about the fact that 
in the context of a trend, markets want to test that level of support or resistance to potentially go further into the trend. But without touching it for a while, oftentimes markets get stretched and they want to come back and test that level. So again, the second main way is to use uh, the moving averages as a potential indicator of price being too stretched. So you can see, again, in this case, we moved multiple hundreds of pips away from the moving average. You can see quite stretched there. And sure enough, price popped back down and came back to retest that area. Sure enough, we found temporary support before falling back down. But look at this, guys. Another opportunity came right around in this area. You can see price got stretched quite a bit to the downside from this moving average. And price likes to come back to retest significant structures and levels of value or resistance in this case in the market, right? You can see price stretched very far to the downside and wanted to come back and retest. And sure enough, we got a rally here, pushed back to test this level. And sure enough, the trend was actually over and we started a new trend. Guys, I have a moving average crossover video that I do want to share with you. I'm going to pop it up on the screen right now. If this video was helpful to you and you're looking to improve as a trader, I definitely want to ask you to subscribe to the channel and also give this video a like if it was helpful. Thanks so much for checking out this video and I hope to see you on the next one.